Not too bad. Jeez, that car's about to kill those people. Hey guys, what's going on? Tua Cruz here, checking in with Tun Chan. Hi. How are you today, Tun Chan? I'm good. What are we doing today? We need to go to shopping. We're going shopping yeah. on our folding bikes here in Vietnam. Okay, let's. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So we've got a few requests for this video to show you guys our our normal bike commuting routine going to the grocery stores here in Vietnam. So we usually do this about once a week or so. There's a few nice big supermarkets here in uh -huh. Da Nang, Vietnam. So we usually go to them about once a week or so. And then the other days we just go to our local little nearby markets. So here, a little bit of a chaotic intersection, but it's not too bad if you go at the slow speeds. So we got a little roundabout here. We're gonna be turning left. Not too bad. And we change up our routine. There's a couple different bridges here in Da Nang, so we like to just change it up and go a different way each time. So today we're gonna head over the Dragon Bridge. All of the bridges here, really scenic, really nice. And it's evening time again here, so people are getting off of work. This is a busier time to go. If you can go midday, it's nice because there's less traffic, but we usually like to get our other work done in the middle of the day. So we usually end up going later when it's busier right now. This bridge is actually a bit of a hill. You really feel it on the, the little folding bikes. Bit of a cloudy day today. But you can see we got the, the Dragon Bridge here. This guy spits fire on the weekends. Actually, it is Saturday today, so he's going to be breathing fire tonight about 9 p.m. And over here, we get a nice view over the river. So we live over on the, the eastern side, connected to the ocean. This side is more of the, the main city. That's cool. A little kid decked out in cycling gear. You don't see too many young kids into cycling here. Like cycling is decently popular as a like recreational sport where people get dressed up. But I don't see too many like kids doing it. There's a lot of kids riding like normal bikes and mountain bikes though, like going to school and stuff. Now the fun part, we get the downhill. But yeah, I like to just go nice and slow during the rush hour because there's a lot of people that do speed and try and weave between traffic. So better to go safe and steady. Don't want to risk an accident. We do want to turn left up here. So Tung's looking back. That's okay, it's got a, oh, it's turning right here, but the, the left is turning green. Get our hand signals out. All right, we got it. Made it just in time. Perfect. Nice timing. Yeah, we don't go, we don't turn left there very often. So we're not used to the light timing, but that worked out pretty well. We usually go on that bridge. Well, we're trying something new today. Always fun to try something new. So the supermarket we're going to today is called Mega Mart or Mega Market. One of the two. And people call it like the, the Sam's Club or the Costco of Da Nang. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's that kind of store. You can buy a lot of stuff in bulk, but the prices and the stuff that they have, the variety isn't nearly like what 
on the level that Costco or Sam's Club would be, but it's pretty good. You can get a lot of the stuff that you need and it's that same kind of like big warehouse vibe. So it's nice, we like going there to, to stock up every once in a while. And we're starting to run out of our main supplies now, so we're heading there. The other one we rotate to is uh, Big C, which I believe is a Thai uh, grocery chain. So that's one, it's a little bit closer to us in the city, but the one we're going to today is a bit south of the city, so I think it's about a 15, 20 minute bike ride there. Not too bad, geez, that car's about to kill those people. Yeah, Vietnam, unfortunately, not a very pedestrian friendly place. It's very dangerous to walk and cross the streets because no one will stop for you, even in the crosswalks. Like there was a family, those kids, and that car was still trying to speed on the inside. A lot of cars will do that if they'll get backed up like here. They'll try and cut in on the inside and pass, so it's very dangerous for pedestrians. Yeah, that bike had their left turn signal on and they're trying to turn right. People, yeah. You always gotta expect like the worst of the drivers here, unfortunately. Better to be safe. Not everyone does turn signal and the people who do, they don't always do it right. I guess technically we shouldn't ride over this bridge on the fast road bikes, but we do sometimes because we go about the same speed. But when you're on a bicycle, you should go on the underpass here. There's a roundabout. So we're going to take that way. about here we're just gonna go straight through the roundabout rules are weird here like we're here first I think in most countries the people who are in the roundabout like have the right of way but in Vietnam it doesn't always work like that it's just whoever's bigger <laughs> whoever has bigger balls and just wants to go for it so yeah cars and trucks will never yield to you even if you have the right of way usually it's best to be like in a group so if you got a bunch of bikes and other cars around you you can go with their momentum it's a lot safer but yeah generally the riding is chaotic but it's not so bad if you if you take your time you go a little bit slower and just prepare for any kind of like dangerous situation we got a Budweiser here it's pretty funny, we've been, I've mentioned we're looking at possibly moving to the US once we get Chung's green card visa approved. And we've been looking at houses in my hometown, just on Zillow, it's a fun thing we're doing together. And we found this really funny house where the guy or the owner just like really loved Budweiser. And they had Budweiser posters like in every picture and every wall in the house. Even in the bathroom had like Budweiser towels and it was just hilarious. So I called it the Budweiser house. Ranger. But yeah, this is a nice four lane road. So, I mean, we got plenty of space to work with here. And this is still a little bit before the rush hour. So traffic's not too bad. Over here to the left, you'll notice there's a big Ferris wheel. There's actually kind of like a little amusement park over here slash arcade different things. I've never actually like stopped there. So if you've been there, let us know in the comments if it's uh, worth going to. I think it's more for children. So maybe we'll try going there one day. And over here, this is a really cool open space. Looks like they got some kind of event there today. Yeah, just nice little open green space. We've got these cool little lanes here, but I always like to be a little bit more left. I don't like cycling close to parked cars because I think this is true in every country. They don't look out for, oh, that guy looked. <laughs> he was opening slowly. Okay, they do look out for cyclists. 
that's good. Okay, here's the here's the entrance to the arcade area. This is a right turn lane, so hey, Chen Chen. Normally, I don't like to go in those right turn lanes because I don't want to block the the traffic, but Vietnamese people, my wife included, don't seem to mind blocking the flow of traffic. This is another one of the intersections with one of the other bridges, so sometimes we come across from this way, and this is a long one, about 90 seconds for this light. So you got the right turn lane here. We'll try and stay left so we don't block that. And get in line here to go straight. Yeah, lots of pretty crazy drivers here. You don't want to wait. And yeah, you can see people always try to cut in like there. This guy's gonna try and cut in here too. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't let them cut in. If I can help it. We're getting pretty close, just a little bit more to go. Oh my god, this guy is just... Yeah. Things are getting a little bit congested, chaotic over here. But yeah, that guy is very brave to be sitting down working on the side of his car right in this kind of road. Going back to that right turn lane though, that's a pretty big pet peeve of mine here is, I mean, it's not everyone. A lot of people do line up going in the straight lane that they're supposed to do. And like you can see, we're backed up to the, the line where it changes to the right turn lane. And before the traffic light changes, a lot of people on their bikes will just try and bypass the whole line and cut in on the right turn lane and then try and squeeze in to go straight and try and cut us off. So they were trying to do that to Chung and then I just went forward and cut off the next guy so he couldn't do it to us anymore. They also blocked the, the people who are trying to turn right, like the sometimes just stop in the right lane and use that as their position to go next. So it's an unfortunate thing a lot of people do here. Okay, we're getting pretty close. This area, that last light to like this one is the busy, like the most congested, the most populated. There's just a lot of busy intersections here. So we get a lot of traffic, but over here to the left, we got Mega Market. So we're gonna have to loop around over here across the street. There's actually another cool little park over here to the right I've been meaning to show you guys, so maybe film another video over there. It's actually a nice, quiet location. Okay, he ready? We're just gonna cross here. Wait for the traffic to stop. Find a safe point. Yeah, technically it is a crosswalk, but you can see not a safe one. <laughs> Dangerous, but we made it. This is another cool, unique thing over here. We got the, the bike parking here. So it's also combined with the bicycle parking. They give you a ticket. And here's our ticket. So you have to give that back when you leave. Some places charge parking. 
it's not much, but this one doesn't charge, but you need to have one of these to, to leave with the bike. So it tries to prevent theft, but I, I don't know how successful it is for like bikes because they could easily just like pop over the gates and bring it over to one of their cars if they wanted to steal something. But they have cameras, so we're gonna park our bikes here. All right, bikes are parked. Let's go on inside. Here's the entrance, Mega Market, MM. And one unique thing that you need to do here is also check your bags. You're not allowed to bring your big bags when you go inside, so we gotta grab these when we go to check out so we don't need to use any extra plastic bags. So here's a quick layout of the shop. You can see really massive warehouse kind of feel, and they got a bunch of different stuff here. So different food, different lifestyle stuff, and we're gonna walk around, grab a couple of items that we need, and I'll check back in later. So we just finished up with our shopping, and one of the cool perks of the shops here in Vietnam is they do free delivery if you go over a certain amount. We like to bring our own bags, so we, we like to carry everything back as much as possible, but there are a few heavier items, like we got a big giant box of sports drinks, so we're gonna bring the fresh produce with us back home in our bags, and then we're gonna have the rest of it delivered, and it will be delivered right to our door about an hour later, so very convenient. All right, bags are packed. Let's go home. Uh, Strava on. Can you carry it? Yeah. What's wrong? I'm tired. I'm tired. Tired? You went to the gym yesterday, right? Yes. Yeah. You did some squats? Yeah. Yep. So very tired. Okay. Let's go. No. So back in the parking lot and this guy decided to park right in front of our bikes. No safe spot here. Oh my god. All right, we successfully got our bikes out of the parking lot. And here we go, these are our bikes we're riding today. I'm on the Royal Mobot folding bike and love this setup. We get this giant bag up here in the front, packed with a bunch of our groceries. And tung has been enjoying the Dahon folding bike lately. This one has some bigger wheels, so it's a bit more comfortable and faster to ride. So. She's been enjoying this bike, but we don't have any mounts for it to put our bags on it yet. So our second bag, I'm just going to be carrying the other backpack on my back. Uh, that's going to be it for today's video. We're going to film a separate night ride video going back, but I think we're going to make that a separate video so this one doesn't get too long. So make sure you're subscribed and you can stay tuned for our next video. Thanks as always for watching, guys. Also, a big thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to continue filming more videos like this. So if you want to help out our channel, consider checking out our Patreon. And that's it for today's video, guys. We'll see you next time here on Tuo Cruise.